In this video, we're gonna properly size our player and make it fully responsive. We are going to create a 16 by 9 ratio player, which is the most common. So let's go back to our code. So what it is with this player sizer elements? So why we created that? In order to size our player, we're gonna use padding with percentages which will help us preserve the aspect ratio of our player. So how it is going to work? Let me show you an example. Let's go back to our player SCSS. The first thing we're gonna, we're gonna do is set 100% to our root player element. For now, let me just comment out this video element part. So we are left only with the sizer element. Let's go back to player. We're going to target our sizer. Let's set 100% width as well. So how padding sizing works? When you set padding with pixels, it will just uh, set that pixel and it will not change in any way. But if you set the padding in percentages, it's going to use the width of the element as a base, which means if we set padding with percentages, we get aspect ratio by default because we have already set 100% width and if we set for example padding top 56.25% which is 9 divided by 16. This is our 16 by 9 ratio value, it's 0 0.56 meaning the height of our element is going to be always 56.25% out of 100%. So let me give an outline one pixel solid red so that we see what we get. Let's go back to our browser. As you can see, we get an aspect ratio container. In order to check the responsiveness, we need to set the width of our base container to a percentage value. For example, a 60%. So let's check how it works. If we resize the browser, as you can see, our box is preserving its aspect ratio, which is 16 by 9. If we inspect this element, we can clearly see that we only have padding as a height. I think you are wondering what will happen if we uncomment the video element and put it inside the sizer. Let's check it out. You can see that the sizer is using padding which pushes the everything inside it to the bottom. So how are we going to fix that? In order to fix that, we will just set position absolute to our video element and position it to the left top and set 100% width and height. Let's do that. Let's go back to our player. Let's target our video and set a position absolute. We will set 100% width, 100% height, and set left 0 and top 0. Let's check it out. As you can see, oh, by the way, we need to set the position relative to our sizer. So there you go you get the aspect ratio box. So we've got the sizer and the video element, which is positions right inside using absolute positioning. Now this element will always preserve its aspect ratio, no matter how you move it and resize. So here it is in action. So it's always pre preserving its aspect ratio. This is going to be it for this video. We will continue in the next lecture.